found my way back to the Airbnb or whatever and just like on the carpet in the middle of the living room just passed out. You know like when you kill someone on GTA and they like the yeah. body's just <laughs> Yeah. And someone That's took cool. a someone took a oh, Nick took cool. a photo of me. Yeah. They made like a wanted poster. It was like just the, the photo of me is like wanted. Has anyone seen Sean? Please call this number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. oh. I've definitely wanted to kill my band members. Yeah. <laughs> it's I for a thing, uh, sure. <laughs> like there's just been points where I'm like, I can't I can't take this shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Just waking up in the same room, like just going, oh. <laughs> just oh my gosh, you're killing me. Yeah, yeah. But it's love. It is, it is. you're right. It, yeah, you're it right. is it definitely is. love. That is so funny. Especially yeah. when you especially uh hey uh, Zach, are we uh, going? Live. Live, holy shit, we're live as fuck. Oh, well, we're, not, we're not live, live, but... We're live. Look live at that. as fuck. We're rolling. G'day, Australia. Right. Good night, evening, Australia. Well, technically, we are live in our own bodies. That is correct. So that's, oh, that's debatable that's this morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so t- <laughs> What'd you guys do last night? Honestly, just s- trying to sleep on the bandwagon. That was, that's my main goal. That was that was whole, whole night. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was my night. night. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, no, nah, it's fine. I've... <laughs> The, the list of shit I have to take every night just to get to sleep. And I don't even sleep. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's yeah. going on. It's, it's tough to fall asleep when your nose is blocked the whole time. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know, yeah, something yeah. about the bus air or something <clears throat> like that just dries me out. I'm just like yeah. try, <gasps> struggling to breathe in the coffin, you know. But Yeah, it's, yeah. You're, you're, like, you're guaranteed to get sick. It's it's kind of yeah. it's kind of like mandatory. If like if you don't get sick, then you feel wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's I think it's ran through <laughs> already. Yeah, we were just discussing right. like whether you know debating whether or not we actually prefer bandwagon versus van the van because the van we Big get a hotel debate, every yeah. night. And I, I thought about that too. Yeah, yeah. I like, thought about that. Too. Like you, you have you have like yeah. what like five or six hours sleep at most if you're getting the hotel rooms because you need to make the drive. Sure. But then the quality of sleep is so much better in the bed. But then like. Two nights out of your six week tour or whatever, like someone will get bed bugs in one of the hotels. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. At least once yeah. every tour. You know, we, we try and stick to budget and look at Booking dot com. Oh, that looks like a pretty good room. Mm. No reviews about bed bugs, and you know, later at night you hear this. <laughs> no, I never had bed bugs, but I heard like horror stories. Oh, it's yeah, it's, 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 it's hideous. Absolutely yeah, it's, I don't know how they can how some of these hotels. Can I remember still there was one time me and him. <clears throat> got in the bed, fi- figured it out straight away. <laughs> bed bugs. So we just had to sleep on top of the the bed with like, you know, cl- it was like middle of winter as well huh. in the States. Just like fully clothed, like jackets on, shivering, bed bugs. What yeah. does that feel like? Uh, My bed was uh, yeah, that's right. I, remember- I was looking over to these guys and looking- <laughs> I thought, you guys are right. I remember like making myself like a protective like layer of jackets or something on the bed, which I just like slept on with not using the blankets at all. Just yeah, full. <laughs> I don't, that full I don't, like that. I don't that. think a jacket will help, man. Well, it's just no. Uh, yeah, no, I, <laughs> no, it, didn't, no. It, didn't, it didn't. It didn't. I yeah. don't know. That's just the best I could muster at the time. But mm. you know, oh, we're all God, it's so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, look at it. Is that what they look like? Oh, mm, maybe I'm, it wasn't bed bugs. Something else. There's the little cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was very. You know what? You know itchy. what we do? We actually we look up reviews, and if it says bed bugs, we for sure get get the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. No one. And you get, and <laughs> you, and you get a discount yeah, yeah, yeah. too. You can also try and get a discount or a free room. You know, try mm-hmm. and Jedi mind trick and go. Nah, it's about the story. Yeah, that's it right. Is. It's about the tour experience. That's it. You know? yeah. Maybe in our early twenties, but we're late thirties right now. It's like, yeah, nah, dude, nah. we're I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, I'm not doing bed bugs anymore, dude. <laughs> yeah. Or spiders. No, no. What? I'm, I'm fucking terrified of spiders. Oh, Even really? the friendly ones. Nah, spiders are chill. <sighs> yeah, spiders are relaxed. Okay, okay, first of all, thank you, uh, you guys, for being here. Oh yeah, no, make, thank you, thank you for having us. Thank you. Make, yes. thank make, you make, make them suffer heavy as fuck. Thank oh. you for being here. No, thank can, you, man. Can we do a quick intro? Yeah. Hell yeah. So people can attach their voice to the name. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm Sean. I do vocals. Cool. I'm um, Jordan, lead drummer. G-Man. J-Man, yeah. There we Joya. Go. Bass. What, largest spider I saw in my life was, uh, I believe it was Sydney. <laughs> yeah, really. I bet it was a hunter. They, they got the bad, they got the funnel webs. Yeah. <clears throat> funnel webs? Yeah, yeah. Have you heard of those ones? No. They're the oh. super they're, they're the deadly ones. Fucking... They're the ones that will actually kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here they yeah. are right here. 
These are metal as fuck, these spots. Oh my goodness, dude. Look dude. at that thing. I would <laughs> I would quit the band. This would be <laughs> this would be the moment where like it's I, I can't do this guys. Look at this one yeah. there. It's just full putting the, its little arms up. There you go. <laughs> are you guys not scared of spiders? No. Uh, Aussies nah. are so like nonchalant about spiders. Like I remember Australia I remember being great. in a share house and there was a spider that was living right above the kitchen sink. And we just like let it chill and grow there. And if Yo. we would find like dead flies or whatever, we'd feed, feed it, it, like put it yeah. in the web. Yeah. Give it we a gave, name. We gave it a name. Yeah, it was called yeah. Jeff. Yeah. And you know, you was, named it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was like, it wasn't a massive spider. It was just you know, like, you know, house spider type thing. But, mm. you know, spiders are pretty chill generally. Yeah. And usually the bigger the spider, the like, less you have to worry about them yeah. as well. Like huntsmen's are so, they'll jump, which yeah. is really scary. But yeah, that's terrifying. Like, yeah. <clears throat> when they jump at you, that's a bit. I think the worst we get where we are is the red back. Yeah. Um, oh, and we get white tails oh, as what well, is, right? What's this? <laughs> okay, this is an exaggeration. <laughs> the... They probably threw it in there. Yeah. Oh, make, they cornered him. Make them suffer is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like a different, like... <laughs> Oh, it's, just, <laughs> it's just funny, like, like, like the culture difference. I mean, you're not, yeah. you're not gonna like people around here aren't gonna be like, yeah, spiders are normal, or, 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 or even though they are, mm. we are, te- mm. we are technically in their house. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. You know, but if we see them, we're like, oh shit. Yeah, I'm like, terrified. I remember like the one I saw. It was like it was in Sydney. It was probably it was bigger than my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I'm like, yeah. is this normal? That's you guys don't probably get, not. You guys don't, don't get them well, that, that was, big here, or no? No. Yeah, I wonder what it was. It must have been a huntsman. What I mean, they look mm. scary, but they you know you can pick them up. And even though I wouldn't do it, personally. but the jumping thing is jumping. No, yeah, I don't no, do okay. jumping. Any, like I find crickets more scary than spiders actually because they're so unpredictable with where they're gonna jump. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like ah, it's yeah. me. Uh, you guys, you guys do not fuck around, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, uh, so, so what happened with uh, Alex and Nick? So there was uh, they they saw God. Yep. That, yeah, they found happened. God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're, uh, um, they're out. They're talking to him right now. He heard this. I yeah. think she was last night. She definitely was. Yeah. Yeah. Hearing yeah. tapping on the bandwagon and oh no, that was that was nothing. It was mellow last night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we don't really have big nights anymore, do we? Nah. Well, I'll have, I'll I'll have a couple chill. white claws. But last night I had a dream that I was running late to this, and we still did it. And you were pissed off in, in my dream. Really, like, man. Got so many bands lined up, bro. This is not good enough, dude. <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> and I wake up going, <laughs> you know, getting the bottle of water because you got dry mouth in the bandwagon. Ugh, Jerry, man. You, you had a dream say? about it? Yeah. I, you have these tour dreams all the time, like running late. But about the. About the this. And then this, about this, yeah. <laughs> you dream a stressing. lot, though, I. Yeah, but they make no sense. Nah. They're, yeah, it's full anxiety dreams, but yeah. Well, but we, it's good that you're a nice guy and real person, and not in my dream, though. You were angry. It's, it's, more, it's that. good that you're a real person. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, it's good that you're alive. Or maybe, uh, or maybe the dream was showing my real side. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I've heard. I've heard. Yeah, yeah. That, that, was, that was God talking, dude. <laughs> that was, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. It had a dream about coming here. Holy God. Yeah. That's the first and running late. That. And running late, too, which, you know. Yeah, well, we well, you, you, which we did. You're still late. Yeah, he's fine. still here. <laughs> still dude, he's, he's pissed. You guys. I he's pissed. No, I know. He's pissed. I know. No. I've heard many things, Gaza. I've heard many things. Perfect. Yeah, good things. Good. good. You're punctual. Appreciate when that. When someone asks what the time is and they've got a watch, you go, "Dude, check <laughs> your fucking phone." I like that. Oh, it's true. It's no, good. he just knows the time. He doesn't need a watch. <laughs> yeah. It's no, 4:30. I give. I give a uh, backhanded as as uh, that's as, it. As my guys told me, I give backhanded comments. Yeah. I'm like. Get a wash, dude. Don't, don't. <laughs> but that's just t- towards my band, guys. It's just, you know, you're just. We do the same. Like, Passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just fun. And especially when you get older, it's just like no one, no one gives a fuck. Yes, yes. Mm. It's like just yeah. ha- have fun, laugh, yeah. bust each other's balls. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, especially at my my role with my role with talking shit to anybody, like a friend or a family, or maybe even something like that you don't know, or you're just like, you kind of have like a connection with. Yeah. Whatever you dish out, you have to prepare. For the same, a hundred percent. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that, uh, you know, when they get it back, they don't know how to take it. It's like, why are you doing it? it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah, you're yeah. a pussy. What are you doing? <laughs> why? <laughs> why would you give it out if yeah. you're not willing yeah, to yeah, take yeah. it? Pet, pet peeve of mine, I. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Which is why I love our tour packages. We just constantly give everyone shit, 
and they yeah. give it to us back and it makes it. tour life just it. easy. Every morning we'll see our <coughs> best mate George from Void of Vision and just boo him out of yeah. nowhere. <laughs> yeah. But we see everyone, give him a clap, George comes out, boo. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got to knock him down a few notches. He's a tall, handsome German man yeah. mm. and we're not going to stand for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, you know. I'll just give him the silent treat for, treatment for no reason, eh? Just walk past and he's like, hey, Sean. I'm like, <laughs> we love you, George. Yeah. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, George. You're yeah. a good guy. George, He's actually going to be setting up Jordan's drum kit for us, so. Oh, sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I made sure he was get onto that. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> well, tell him that I appreciate that personally. Yeah. To, to George. Make, to, to, make, to, make, to make this possible. Yeah. That's right. You know what? It just, uh, a memory just popped in my, uh, in my brain. Actually, the first time, I mean, talking early 20s, probably, probably from the Parkway guys, like seeing some, seeing a group of people kind of bust each other's balls, and I didn't really understand it yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't at that point in my life yet. Then I think about it, that's kind of where I really saw it take place, like full on. Yeah. Like an Aussie band. Yeah. <clears throat> and the yeah, band, we've and the, actually yeah. had that before, hey. Like, um, Stray was saying You know, that. We've, we've like <laughs> given each other shit or like, you know, and you know the C word here is pretty. Whoa, mm. whoa, whoa! So like we 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 calling each other cunts or whatever, and people yeah. just go, well, "We can't say that here." But I said he's a good cunt. It's, it's yeah, fine. yeah. It's that's completely a, different. That's a different word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then Americans yeah. try to get on it, but they just say it all wrong. With like, oh, dude, no. It's got like a hard, <laughs> hard no. T, and hard you're like, you can't do the hard T. Yeah, yeah. So. Unless you hate the person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. Yeah. If I have ever thought about that word in, in my head, it was towards someone that I was disliking yeah, at that for moment. Sure. Like yeah. highly, highly dislike. Like you fucking c word. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. I, I, I want, it's on my it's on my short list of things I, I don't say. But yeah, yeah, yeah. but for someone else, it's like yeah. it's like a cool like it's just family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a fa- yeah, yeah, yeah. family. Good wow. Good yeah. mom, you can't. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Our mom's being a oh, cunt. Never. Though. <laughs> never. <laughs> oh my. No, I've never I've never called mama a, a cunt. No, nah, I couldn't do that. I'll call someone else's mama cunt. No, but. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you, your, your band is fucking. Crazy. Oh, we're going to get demonetized? Nah, it's fine. We have the care. pass. Nah, it's fine. We care. Australian pass. We're sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, why is that? Why, why do you yeah, have some other origins of regions of the planet get, get, get a pass for, yeah. for, for the same word? Yeah. Mm. Isn't that kind of bizarre? What do, what do Americans have that we, that we find. Oh, that's Taboo. shot. It's shot, dude. No shot. Oh, yeah, shot. Yeah. It's just pretty universal. I don't yeah. hear it in Australia. That's, we don't hear that. No, not really. It's caught on a little bit when we tour Once, and stuff, once we tour but... with Americans, yeah, then it yeah, just yeah. Like, becomes part of our lingo for a few mm. weeks and then we forget about it. What is a word that, that, that we say that... It's taboo in Australia. Yeah, that's a good one. Huh. Yeah. I don't th- actually, I... I don't think there is one. No, no. Maybe this I'm, I'm like, not. Am I thinking of one? It's not like a rude one, but I, I always find it interesting how you guys go appreciate you, as pre- as opposed to like oh. I, I appreciate that, or yeah, I, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. why if, do I appreciate you? If you, you say you know, like, if you say something like oh um, thanks for doing that, and someone goes yep, <laughs> yeah yeah that's that such is a thing. Eh? That's yeah, a so like oh thanks for opening the door, man. And they go yep. We don't do that. We just go no yeah, worries. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Have a good day. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Or we come in, hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess for an American to hear that in some random bum uh-huh. fuck nowhere gas station and we walk yeah. in, hey, you going, mate? What? <laughs> like the faces that they give us. <laughs> Y'all oh. from London? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's y'all from? <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, it's good. We always, uh, <laughs> the eyes light up when <laughs> we start speaking in the uh, servo. Oh. Um, well, when you're in like certain states, yeah. yeah. Someone in Iowa asked what state I was from. I said West Australia, like West Australia. What's where, what? Which state's that? I went uh, Australia. It's pretty far. <laughs> it's, fir- it's real south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, re- it's really south. <laughs> really it's south. Really yeah. south. Past dude. Mexico. Just keep going. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> very, very far. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Different people in different areas. I remember. Um, well, I, I have uh, I have long hair, so there was yeah, we we're it was somewhere like Oklahoma gas station, like gas station bathroom, and I was in the bathroom, wash my hands, and some older man, probably uh, low low fifties, walking and said, "Oh, he he looked really confused." Oh, sorry, ma'am, 
and, 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 and walked out. Thought I was a chick. And <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that's sick. It's like fuck. It's oh happened my in my God. life. It's probably happened it less than ten times. But like, but that was the one. That that was the first time, and it's just ingrained in my head. I remember seeing his face, like this <laughs> older guy. You know, I'm I'm, I'm in his home uh, state. You yeah, know, yeah, so yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. sees like some, you know, Spanish looking person with long hair. And he said, "Sorry, ma'am," and then walked out. I'm like, ah, that is great. I mean, it's better than like, damn. I was <laughs> like, all getting a little tap, you know. The first time I was very, the first time I was very offended because yeah, the yeah. first time it happened, I'm like, I, like, I got called a, a woman. Weird. So I had to like accept like this thing, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. every time after, I accepted it, then a few times after that, I had like some drunk guys come up to me and like <laughs> from from behind and say, it was, it was, "Like you know, like sorry, chick or something like." And I was like, "They're like, oh shit, I'm sorry, dude." Ah, I was like, "It's so fine." Good. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just uh, it's the get it all the time. <laughs> it's it's the long hair. So maybe it's something you could look forward to. Yeah, man, I always get the uh, the Jesus thing, like especially in Australia. It's, oh, it's yeah, always yeah. at a public toilet as well. I don't know why people need. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, you got Jesus over here. Oh, look at this guy. And then it's uh, what's Russell Brand is the other Russell one. Russell Brand. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people think I look a lot like Russell Brand with the hair. Hmm. So yeah, but I haven't got the chick yet. But well, maybe it's coming. I don't know. I've been pretty like intermittent with my long hair. I just kind of like shave it all off, grow it long, and then when it gets too hard, then I shave it all off again. So. Why? That is the part of least resistance. <laughs> that is nice. literally the easiest thing you could do with your hair. What? Yeah, I no, don't know. No, no but, now I'm now I'm thinking about getting proper haircuts and stuff. But yeah. really? Yeah. You know, but you're what you're doing is you're growing it out to the most awkward stage. But we all hate that stage where it gets like that. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh fuck, I gotta get it past like the next like six months. You're like, you want it there, and then I'm you spending cut half it. my life with it in the awkward stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's well, fine. I don't think. The, I mean, that's what hats are for. That's why I always wear a hat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Convenient, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I got. I got to tell you, Ben. Congrats on Epitaph. That song is yeah. fucking sick. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Man. Thank you. So fucking badass. Yeah. That, was that the first time we played it? Oh, in in Australia. So it's, been, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it went. Uh, it went. Doom switch first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then ghosts, and then ghosties. Uh, okay. Yeah. Taffies. Taffies. Yeah, ghosty. Yeah. We got so that nickname. Doomies. Doomies. Oh, cool. Ghosties, Ghosties tappies. tappies. Mm. Yeah, that's the Aussie version. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how we write our set list. <laughs> <laughs> the bones. set list? Yeah, bones yeah. is boners. Boners. Boner jams. Oh, uh, that's next level. I can't do that on on a set list. <laughs> I keep I keep the tentative titles on on the record stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're if you're fucking if you look down your old days, you're all like kind of scatterbrained, and you see like something. It's like oh, Eddie, he does it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, really? it, and it low key pisses me off. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Did you make a passive aggressive comment about it? Do I? Uh, it's we'll have to find one. Uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's it's during the show, so you can't really say anything. So by the time it's done, you're like, oh, it's yeah. You yeah, need to get yeah. a talk back, Mike, so you can tell him. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm gonna have a mic to the side. It <laughs> only it. goes to his wedge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> sick. Yeah, and tell him every time, and just just chime in. You fucking ruined the set. It only yeah. comes out in that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great idea. Yeah, that's sick. Holy yeah. shit. So he doesn't get wear him. ears, does he? He's got the wedgie. Get the wedge. Yeah, get the talk back. Old and school. Just Old school. Us. I like that. Yeah. Mm. I, I already know you are on ears. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, but I was the last I was the last person to get on ears. Like, I was, mm. I was fighting against the ears thing for yeah. ages. And mm. then, yeah, I don't know. Someone explained to me that, like, the... The volume of the fold back is like coming through the microphone, fucks with the mix a little bit. So I was like, all right, mm-hmm. fine, I'm going to ears. But like, I didn't want to. I like doing the, the hardcore thing, mm-hmm. you know. Great. You can feel the music. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, sort of thing. We enjoyed yeah. the amps on stage to feel the cojones, the big yeah. balls, you know. Yeah. Click, click track has ruined my life. Yeah. You go to bed just going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just so it, tempted to just start a hardcore band without a click. Oh. Be so fun. Just no, nothing in my ears. Just absolutely ruining them. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. you're on, you're on click, man. Yeah, that's that's it, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's life. We're yeah. done. <laughs> mm-hmm. Your band has come a very long way, like like, like a very long way. Like uh, I mean, the tour before this one, you were. I mean, it was it was your home country with Bremi and Sleep Token. Like the probably like the best case scenario. Yeah, yeah. you know, it was yeah. awesome. You know, how, how is that like? How is that for for your band? Like, because you guys started in two thousand eight. 
right? And kind of, yeah. Kind of, okay. Yeah. And now, okay, now I want the real side of the story. And then, <laughs> yes. and then but isn't it kind of a trip to go from a loading gear in and out of like a Toyota Camry to now like, like, like you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. how did you know? Yes. How did you know? Is that information that you've grabbed on the internet? Because we actually all had Toyota Camrys. Yeah. <laughs> He oh, no, it, it, it popped in my head. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, but it's kind of it's kind of a trip, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's wild. it's insane. I don't. Uh, so yeah, we we spent uh, like four years as a local band because Perth is if you know where Perth is in Australia, it's like the most isolated city it's in the so world. Isolated. So it's like yeah. to, just to tour Australia is really hard. There and she is. So it took us. A, there's, home. there's Perth on the. <laughs> Far left there, and then every other main <laughs> city is basically. <laughs> Whenever I need music gear, I always go to Sweetwater.com. If it's mics, headphones, or studio and recording gear, Sweetwater has you covered. Next time you need any music gear, support the podcast by using the link in the description and comment section below. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sick. yeah shout every out every other main city is the east, so like it took us ages. So oh, look, there I don't know, right. but there's Margaret River down there. What's that's where Jai. Oh, that's where Jai lives. So yeah. I'm three hours south. So I'm in. The he lives six. under that rock. He li- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he lives. Okay. Ah, oh, look. There we go. Per- it's, yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah, man, when- you're you're in your own world. You're in a little bit. Much. It's su- it's such a bubble. It's like such a slow, sleepy city. I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but it's amazing. Oh, like I love beaches it. and yeah. fresh air and everything. Like being three hours drive from where Jaya lives, which is like the wine region and beautiful beaches there. Mm. Great places to yeah, surf. Beautiful. Not that any of us surf, but you know we could and we should. But we appreciate <laughs> the uh, nature down there. Yeah. Mm. So it was weird, and then you know now, now I feel like what you're saying. Like yeah, things are just kind of starting to really like ramp up and take take off for us and it's like well i don't know why now because we've been a band for a very long <laughs> yeah. time over, like, over 16 years like 50, 15 16 years or whatever i guess for all those years we were we were like a local band and mm-hmm. you know it took us a while to kind of like find our uh footing with a lot of different stuff um and now i feel like you know we've had yeah we're pretty pretty stoked on where things are sitting now and like you know we've kind of it's a well-oiled machine by this point. We know exactly like what everyone's role is and stuff, and it's just mm-hmm. kind of the pieces are finally coming together. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's taken people so long to <laughs> to it happens, dude. Yeah, but yeah, hey, sucks. <laughs> it's 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 kind of cool because I mean I like get to look back on this like incredible journey that's just like been like a lifetime for <laughs> for a lot of us, you know. And it's um, you're on you are on a lifetime journey. Yeah, that's it. For, for yeah. sure. And I yeah, feel yeah. it's it's more like you approach like when you do start seeing success then you approach it like with a bit more like groundedness or humility or whatever because you've had to like, you know, push through, <coughs> do the, do the full slogs. Mm-hmm. Um and, you know, the building in the early years as opposed to just like, you know, some bands it's just like they put out their first album it's like phew, massive, you know. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't us and like kind of proud of that in a way, you know. Yeah. Had a slow burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. You know, mm. did uh, did you and Nick kind of have like this vision or something? Or um, or <clears throat> it was sort of weird after COVID and everything. Like, uh, I almost basically like forgot like about the band in a way. Like, it took us so yeah, I was really, like, yeah. yeah I was just like it living my life, us. just just playing <clears throat> playing Magic the Gathering. I think it like really crushed everyone's spirits in a lot of ways. I think Nick um, probably like held the fort <clears throat> more than anyone in Definitely. that time. Hmm. And he came uh, sort of forward with this, you know, came to, came to the table with this kind of like a bit of a different direction on the guitars and <clears throat> like synths and that sort of stuff. Um, and like I, for us, I think it felt like, you know, we were, we were taught, you know, um, <clears throat> we lost a member and then we were sort of like discussing, are we going to like continue as like just a f- like a four piece or whatever? Mm-hmm. Um, or, you know, what are we, you know, and Alex was sort of like this last ditch effort I guess mm-hmm. and I remember we played that what was the show was it Full, Full, Full Tilt Festival, Festival was our first show in like you know over like two years or two and a half years or something like yeah. that and it was you know we remembered what it was like to be a band we were like alright we're gonna pick up the pieces and do yeah. this like push again it really felt like you know starting starting from the bottom again in a, in a lot of ways but mm-hmm. yeah I don't know we just like yeah threw out like uh, you know got Alex um, and then you know put 
we did put out Doom Switch and then it was like, oh, wow, people actually still yeah. care. Yeah. It was sort of like this moment of revelation where I feel like for a lot of us, like we'd sort of like lost a lot of confidence in the band mm. and whether or not we were going to continue and then just like Doom Switch and then we just got like amazing tour after after amazing tour offer and it wow. just sort of, yeah, I don't know, mm. just it's we've started this like snowball effect now and now it's like, yeah, it's all happening. It's mm. exciting, you know. If you lose, if you, if there's something about music. If you lose confidence, it's really hard to get it back. Mm. It, it, it will, it will, like, it will cloud your your right mind. Mm. Yeah, and it, it, will cl- it will it will cloud you so much that you can't even like make a decision based on something that you love, like like your band. Mm. You know, I remember like, we, like I mean, yeah, I lost my confidence. Like, getting that back is like it was. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's so difficult, and it, like. Yeah, like over COVID, like I put on weight as well. Like I remember playing that full tail festival. Oh no! I felt so because oh, yeah. okay, there's... find a photo or a video. <laughs> it's not even. It's not that bad. Other people won't notice. Okay, it, but like <laughs> it's just made in my own head. But like, sure. You um, <clears throat> there's like oh, there it is. There's fitness and then there's stage fitness and they're sure. two entirely different things. And I just mm-hmm. remember like getting off that stage and go, <gasps> just absolutely, yeah. you know coughing and wheezing and gasping for any air I could get because I was that unfit. It was so difficult to me to play just that half hour set. Oh, look, there we are. How sick is that backdrop of ours? <laughs> yeah. Is that- <laughs> oh, just there, it is. there it is. Full dad vibes. Yeah, that's this full dad make them yeah, suffer. Yeah, this is dad's make oh, dad God. suffer. I know what you're doing because I do the same thing. You wear, you wear a black shirt because it... Covers up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do the same thing. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's been my thing this whole time. Yeah. I brought back the uh, spicy cough too after that uh, show. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. There was I, a bit I of I brought that it back into rounds. the uh, into my town. So I was one mm. of the patients, I reckon, that passed it around because I thought it was just a little hangover. Mm-hmm. And then I did a few tests and went, oh, sorry, everybody. Because oh. <laughs> the first time we were allowed to leave West Australia, so our state was locked down for. I don't know, way too long. And this is the first time us as a band could leave the state. So we had, um, we were meant to support ERA. We couldn't leave our state. Oh, my god. And then there was a big Polaris tour we couldn't do because we couldn't leave our state. So we were getting, yeah. that's when our confidence was just getting. Oh, no. Yeah. And we thought, guys, it's time to join a cover band and play in the pub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. saw that future and I went, this wow. is me now, guys. <laughs> yeah. But luckily that didn't happen. So, yeah. There's well, still time. There's, yeah, I know. Still time to not so cover what, band. So what? So were the uh, lockdown rules in Western Australia different from the rest? Pretty much, <coughs> yeah. Like yeah. Western Australia took a very like we're separate from the rest of the country. Like mm. WA was mm. locked down uh, probably for more time overall as a state yeah. than the other states. Yeah. Um, like it was really hard to get in and out of Western Australia. But at the same time, it was kind of like a bit of a bubble in the sense that we weren't like having to be confined to. Our houses yeah, as much yeah. as some other states mm. like I think Victoria, Melbourne, where, yeah, Melbourne Victoria had shocking. the hardest. They had lockdown, the, yeah, yeah, where like they would have have they would be able to like w- leave the house for like an a hour or something. Like, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so so the Mel- the Melbourne did, did, did they have like a time limit? Because I know there was like you couldn't go outside the three kilometer, or no, no, a, a five, a five, a five, a five, five, five yeah, kilometers, yeah, yeah. which for th- those of you watching listening uh, in miles, that's five miles. So, so, so you couldn't go around. The conversion was great. So, so you couldn't go outside five miles. No. Yeah. Nah. And like Under the an amount hour? of time you had, you probably wouldn't even make it to that. <laughs> yeah. You <It's, it's> like <laughs> three miles. <laughs> That's oh, wow. good. Three point one zero six wow. eight six. Right, yeah. Go. But um. Cool. Yeah, and, but you could you could socialize within that five kilometer radius at certain points, the and then people. at other points, I believe you weren't even allowed to like leave your house or that except to get like essentials, basically. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was it like in California? Uh, so right now we're in Santa Ana. So this is probably right when the chaos would start because now you're 30 minutes, 30 miles from L.A. So yeah. L.A. is bad. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, we, we didn't go to L.A. at all. Yeah, mm. yeah. But there were places. So I live an out, hour outside. So from here I'm 30 miles the opposite direction. Mm. So I live in a smaller town called Corona. Okay. And uh, – there's a few restaurants still open, like low, low key. One I have a conspiracy about because this was a, it was a Italian diner, <laughs> yeah, well, and the other spot that was open was this pizza spot, which is also Italian. Uh-huh. I wonder there's like something attached to the city, but uh, <laughs> at, so like lockdown was it was we were locked down, but in my in my area you could kind of go to the park anytime, 
Yeah. Mm. You know, so we weren't, we really didn't suffer too much. It was, a, if you were in LA, then you were definitely fucked. Or any kind of big city. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. not the time yeah. to be locked in. Yeah, I think country no. towns probably were way more chill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. It was nice having a quiet town for a year. Because yeah. even in WA, they wouldn't let regions travel. Oh, to yeah, other regions. that's right. Yeah. So where yeah. I live, it's like a big holiday coastal area, mm. right? There was no one around. It was great. And mm. we were still allowed to leave our house and, you know, mingle. But Yeah, because usually it's overrun with tourists. Yeah, yeah. Like so people th- always drive down every weekend or, like, yeah, often during the weekdays as well to go spend time down there, like yeah. visit the wineries and stuff. So, so COVID was kind of nice. It, not for us. But as a band, but for individual space, yeah. is great. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Have you ever thought about it, it kind of made your band what it is now? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I mean, so. I, would, I, I would mean, yeah, I was, I was expecting Alec and, uh, and, and Nick to be honest, but uh, they, I mean, Nick, Nick probably went straight into just still jamming if, if he was still writing. Uh, I, w- I, I would imagine like it maybe made your band better. Maybe. I mean, I think the thing, I I think the thing with it that was probably healthy was it gave us like, I I think we're a band that probably takes like quite a while to like come up with stuff and write good material. You know, Mm -hmm. we're pretty meticulous with it and, you know, we like to take our time with it. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, having that extra time to kind of like have a bit of a brainstorm and almost like, you know, reinvent ourselves in terms of not just like the music but mm-hmm. you know the the <clears throat> the art direction and the image everything. and everything like everything it's just like a full basic rebranding like we kept pretty much the same logo we were doing uh with <clears throat> the previous album how to survive a funeral but outside of that it's like yeah it's a whole different thing like different tuning on the guitars like so i think that extra time you know like time is yeah, we we benefit from time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it takes us it's a while. Cause that's that that's a big jump. Like when I listen to a song like you know <laughs> "Erase Me" from from that record, which was which had a producer, mm. then you go, which we've been talking about doing it, but it's I'm still terrified. Well, you go from a producer, then you you have three more songs without a producer, mm. and then you get the reaction that you get, and then you're talking about <clears> basically <throat> like like a rebranding. I, I I was very curious, like how, how did you do that i think we um yeah uh i think we learned a lot from working with drew drew folk was the producer that we worked with on how to survive a funeral Mm -hmm. and just like watching his workflow and how he was going about it we've mostly like done a lot of like uh things like arrangement and self-producing on previous albums like Mm -hmm. old souls and i think worlds apart was yeah, we we arranged and did all the uh, like I guess you could say yeah we we basically only hired people to do engineering for that record. We did all the production ourselves on that, so mm-hmm. it's something we've done before and mm-hmm. we we're pretty comfortable with doing. Um, but like doing it to I guess the next level in 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 terms of quality, mm-hmm. I think it was something that you know uh, was a bit daunting or scary for us. Um, but yeah, yeah, we definitely like. We, we learn where we can and, like, I think, uh, yeah, working with Drew was definitely, like, invaluable for both, yeah, myself and Nick, just, like, you mm-hmm. know, sit, watching his workflow, the way that he thinks and puts songs together and, yeah, there's definitely some value in that for sure. Hmm. Mm. Well, that's well that takes confidence. Yeah, <laughs> see, <laughs> definitely. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, but it's also, like, it's it's exciting. Like, it's yeah. exciting to be able to go, like, you know, self-produced or whatever, chuck that on a release or a CD or whatever. I think it's, you know, because you're also, <clears throat> it gives your own name as a songwriter or whatever, like mm-hmm. more, it holds more weight, you know. And yeah. it's, you know, this is your legacy, what you're going to leave behind. And mm-hmm. I don't know, that's, that sort of stuff's exciting to me. I really, yeah. yeah, value that. But were you aware what you were doing? Because it was, it was everything. So you, you go back like, to like the self-producing, you have a new member, Alex, you go. You have a song. Uh, Erase me has like a, a little teaser, but like a song full on singing. Like what? Was, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> like, is this not? Hey, we're, like, we're, is it like we're we're gonna take the risk and and just put in some more? It's, I, I I just see and hear the risk and see like the execution, mm. which is it sounds whenever I say it, it's just like yeah, it sounds easy. But when you actually accomplish that, 
that's when I'm really fascinated. You know, how did you, how do you do that? You mm. know? Yeah, I guess like <clears throat> the main, the main difference really, I mean, like I think the vocal, uh, like the way the vocals are written over a track like Doom Switch is pretty much like the same as what we've always done. And um, mm. giving even like something as simple as like giving um, Alex, you know, screaming parts. For me, like I'd always written like vocal parts that would make sense for two vocalists. And I've always tried to get other, other people in the band to, to fill in those screaming parts and do like call and responses live and stuff mm. like that. But, um, <clears throat> you know, knowing that Alex actually came from another band as a, as a screaming vocalist you know mm -hmm. she was fronted a band called uh, drown the city mm -hmm. so i was like let's just utilize that that's so that just mm -hmm. like works perfectly because that's how i was writing a lot of the lyrics anyway where it mm -hmm. would make sense for two vocalists to do a certain line and then the yeah the, the like melodically the stuff the the chorus that was written is no different to like what i would have written for um anything previous so really the biggest mm -hmm. like difference like it was th that, that was quite easy slotting Alex in it was almost like seamless you know what I mean mm -hmm. and then really the biggest difference I think is just like the production like stylistically and uh, uh, in terms of like you know the types of synths and stuff Nick's gone for mm -hmm. more like sci-fi futuristic like Blade Runner whatever you want to call it stuff and then the um the down tune whatever I remember Nick being like yeah he's just basically said like I'm like out of juice <laughs> for um, this for drop A, which is what all our other stuff is in. Yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm out of juice. I'm not feeling inspired. So just like you know, he because uh, he was living with um, Josh from Northlane and mm. borrowing Josh's guitar and um, writing writing riffs on that. And I think through that he was like, I love this. I, yeah. I want to do more of it. And so it was very like a natural transition in that sense. So it's like, yeah, let's, let's, you know, this is going to be exciting for our listeners to, you know, hear like a different sort of soundscape from us and a different sort of like a brand identity, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it just like was a pretty like natural transition for all of us. I think it was just kind of like, we all sort of saw like the vision before we sort of set out to do it in a way. Huh? Yeah. Crazy is so he lost inspiration from the tuning your band had your whole career four four records worth yeah and then gets re inspired from another tuning and then he just followed then he just followed that pretty I, much yeah. I never I never heard that before he's a wizard he's got he's got he's yeah got some stuff up there it's great mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah he knows what he's doing for sure. wow yeah, dude yeah. I never I never I never heard that mm. how but we're on our eighth record I'm. I still go to drop A. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. Wow. Switch it up. Change the tuning. See what happens. <laughs> there is something I want to do. Was well, speaking of, uh, well, I mean, the, the reason why I bring it up, why it's kind of cool to hear how Nick approached that was I'm kind of following some kind of inspiration too. And to, to see, to hear like a band actually follow that and mm. yeah. sound like the way that, that you do is cool. Mm. You know? For sure. I'm not sure how, how you would explain it. I mean, I want to say I want to stay a, but uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. This might, this might sound arrogant, but uh, I don't like saying too much because people like to take my ideas and then and they yeah, call don't. People and, will and then and yeah. then and, and then they call it their own and then don't give us any credit for it. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is a suicide song's career in like in, like in, in a yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So I, I try to say a lot, but also keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But but it, it yeah. is a but lower. So you could if any any guitar keys would probably put two together. You yeah, know. yeah, gotcha. yeah. Well, I think it's like ours is like a like drop A with an extra string on. It's like yeah, double drop A, asking it, the it, wrong it, it, double drop D. Ask, ask, ask the drummer. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tune too, bro. Tuning. What is it? Drop yeah, brown F, note. G, yeah. I heard uh, <laughs> seven. I heard that he went. He, I heard that he went to uh, to E. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So how do you? Fuck? That's crazy. man. It's. And then it's mm. like, all right, I've got to start learning this. What do I do? And now Tune the bass like down hey, What do you do <laughs> for, for like bass when, when it's that fucking low? You just got to copy. Oh, look at that. There's, there's Josh's thing. I think do the Meshuggah thing and play up because Era do the same thing and ask him, how do you play that low? Mm -hmm. Bro, just tune back up to E flat. I'm like, all right. Or I just play it all octave higher. So you play an octave higher. Wow. Yeah. Which trying to learn it, it's like looking at the frets is totally different. So... It's crazy how music just went fucking backwards. Went yeah. lower and down and up. It's yeah. Guitar down, bass up. <laughs> what are yeah. these bitches from? It's just so... Yeah. Okay, okay, whenever... 
so when I was doing research on your band, the pictures I come across of Nick just oh yeah, <laughs> so, I, I gotta oh, yeah. say okay, I, this is a That's very good. unique guy. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first time I played a guitar with that crazy tuning was actually Josh's Jackson. It feels so nice. I was nice. like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. it's, it's different. Yeah, and Nick just took that and fucking ran with it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> wow. yeah, yeah. He was living with Josh for like quite a while, probably like four or five years, I'd say. So. What I noticed time for experimentation, etc. What I noticed about bands. Oh, oh there's uh, his, his uh, when his disc was fucked. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? That's not a gimmick. That's uh, actually his disc. Fucked. He was doing like a gym exercise. I can't oh. remember what it's called. Like the it's like a deadlift, but you're lifting it from your knee height, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And then like pulled his lower back, and he was in. Was it the day pre- before or the morning of? Uh, the he festival? did. He did it. Two days before, oh, yeah. and then the day before, he woke up and he was like, Couldn't I, move. Uh, he, I remember he, he messaged someone and he was like, I think I'm experiencing an, a medical emergency. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he called uh, Jaya's mate. He, he got on the phone with, who's your? My, one of my best mates is a chiropractor. Yeah. And as we were leaving the tarmac, I just got on the phone quickly with the one bar reception I had and said, hey, man, we have an emergency. Do you know anyone in Melbourne that can fix um, Nick's back? And then got them in contact. He saw a professional... Pretty much said to him, you shouldn't be playing, shouldn't go on an airplane. Oh, no. And Nick was like, I'm fucking playing. So, But there was a there was 99% chance that he was not going to do it. And what we're going to do of three festivals, man. Like, we were all going, all right, here's the plan. We're going to play with that guitar. I was like, no, and he, we can't have that. And he kid. only had one one guitar player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, but he was, he was walking onto stage every day with his uh, crutch, crutch and then... The guitar tech was like handing him the guitar and taking away the crutch yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah, and yeah. he was just standing in one spot, just playing the whole time. So what? So what? Like, actually happened? Uh, it wasn't a it wasn't a slip disc, as as far as I know. It was something, it was something yeah, that I like eventually remember. fixes. Look itself. at him go mm. there, old hobbles. Yeah, <laughs> there's been a few times where we've almost uh, had to not play a show. Oh yeah, these yeah. two getting salmonella. Oh uh, yeah, down near uh, the Palladium. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that bar down the road. Yeah. <laughs> and dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Don't eat there. Yeah. What? Oh, no, sorry. Worcester? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that, oh, yeah, that, uh, that place. The bar. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it just, we've yeah. always had a good time there, except for the day you two yeah. ate chicken. Yeah. It wasn't raw or anything. I think it was like cross contamination, but we, we, we stayed at a hotel that night. I remember Sean getting up, went to the toilet. It was like hear things. three in the morning, yeah. Yeah. And then I started feeling it. And then, um, Sean, you managed to... I, I felt like when I woke up at like three in the morning, I was like, that doesn't feel right. And so like I forced myself to throw up as much as I could. Oh, the worst. Yeah, um, yeah. Whereas yeah. I was like, I'm going to stay in bed, yeah. ride this one out. I thought it was like a fever because I was, you know, freezing. <laughs> and then the next day, well, where were we, Baltimore? Yeah, yeah. Um, Sounds In the something. green room. And I'm like going in and out of like consciousness and like... He was as white as his goat, man. Yeah, just yeah, there, yeah. Just it was awful. Cancel the show. Yeah, the yeah, drummers. yeah. We asked all the drummers and everyone went, oh, I don't know how to play that stuff. I'm like, you <laughs> motherfucker, <laughs> you pussy. Yeah. Get on that CD and have a listen. Yeah. But, <laughs> and then, but like, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on this couch, like on my deathbed, <laughs> and it's like 10 minutes before we have to play. And I've just woken up out of this coma. And like Alex is next to me. Oh, this is disgusting. But anyway, <laughs> this is good. so me and Alex That's got serious. really close that tour because turns out while I was asleep, I shat myself right ne- about this far from her head because <laughs> she was like sort of nursing me and like, yeah, I uh, shat myself in my sleep. I didn't know though when I woke up and then as soon as I sort of like, you know, you no, know? no, nah, I had no idea because I was out. And then, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I came too, and I was like, I've got to get myself vertical. And it was just like, I've got to get myself vertical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, because it was like 10 minutes till showtime. And I was just like, <laughs> and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I just like fully butterflied my cheeks. And then, anyway, I just, I just crawled to the bathroom and like, you know, swapped out my undies, threw them in the bin, went straight to stage, played a show. Bad, with the, bad with omens. The, you had the vomit bucket next yeah, to you. Yeah, the and vomit everything. bucket here. And like, uh, all, they covered all their lights with like plastic yeah. wrap so I wouldn't vomit on them. And <laughs> yeah, it was awful. It was truly awful. I, I didn't recover 
until like I think we had a week left of that yeah, tour. Yeah. And then I got home and I was still fucked for like two weeks. Yeah, how do you how do you get it? Uh, contamination. Yeah. So it's, old, a bunch of old mate chef that, but... in the bloody kitchen must have just touched everything with his hands and uh, yeah. these boys. These I boys wish I could right. find the name of that bar, warn people away from it. But... A, ba- a, a, a bacteria. Like, apparently, like during that time, because that was like sort of right after COVID. Apparently, there was like a uh, like a servers or like workers shortage in a lot of restaurants in America. A lot of people oh, were saying that for real. Yeah, like apparently the health standards of a number of restaurants across the states had like slipped. I didn't mm. think about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You can. Yeah, I think it's probably it. better and fine now. But yeah, but then at oof. that, at, it was just like a dodgy time or whatever to buy chicken at a restaurant. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because people were on, on unemployment, and there's jobs everywhere, but no one want. A lot of people didn't want to work. No. Yeah, mm. Mm. So, we well, still have that back at home. People just. You know, I'm um, sweating, getting paid from the government. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Bloody work, mate. My tax money is getting put in this person's wallet. But yeah, Man. the standards have dropped yeah. to a degree in certain industries, obviously. But uh-huh. yeah. yeah, food definitely. It's good now. I feel. Well, it's fine now. Yeah. But I, I didn't, I didn't think, think about that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm out at a restaurant like, like idiot, not even thinking. Yeah, you know, yeah. Now I'm like, feel well, like I'm cautious. You know, anything yeah. I eat, I'm just like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's still have, kicking. Yeah, yeah. Have any have any of you worked in like the food industry at all? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I've flipped burgers a number of years. Okay. <laughs> stadiums, like sports stadiums, for the VIP people. Oh, sick. I'm not going to say it too loud, but uh, oh, I can't get arrested. This mate, the food is dodgy as fuck. <laughs> it gets prepped like not all stadiums, by the way. Not all stadiums. Just this one in particular that's now been bulldozed, but. You know, you go pay thousands of dollars to go to a corporate box mm-hmm. and you get all this fancy food, but the way it gets prepped. Oof. Prepped by you? Oh, I go no, on. No, no. <laughs> I, I, super, I supervise it going from A to B, so whatever gets in there in my time. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that's, that's your alibi. It's cool. So if you don't like someone <laughs> and you work in the food industry. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, have a go at that. Oh, there you Is go. That, oh. That's not what we were selling, but. Let's go. People still don't realize, don't. Don't fuck with people that are messing with your food. Exactly. People are yeah. so – it blows me away. To, I, they, they still do. They, they, they treat their their waiter, waitress like like shit. I'm yeah. like, do you, do you realize – because I, I was I a was dishwasher for yeah. for years and then Same the bus here. boy. And uh, they literally – they come in the kitchen and tell the cook that yeah, this, this table f- – Fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they yeah, are literally yeah. they are handling your food. Yeah. yeah. If, if you're pissed at you're pissed, pissed off they, they mess up your order, be polite as possible. Oh, hundred mm. percent. Even if they're going so we always say thank you, smile, please. Someone's having mm. a shit day, because like you said, they've got your food behind there. You know, you can't see anything. <laughs> if they don't like you. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude. No, yeah. I was i even like if they come back with an order that's messed up, I always I might be on a date with my, my girlfriend where I'm always like, oh, I don't want to I don't want to send it back. It's busy. I'm the same. I'm yeah. the same. And yeah. then because you, you have it. like, because you know what they're doing behind yeah. it. It's like it's, yeah. fr- it's Friday night. They're, they're fucking. They're trying to. Yeah, yeah. And they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they're, and they're gonna get my burger and take off the lettuce. Like this, <laughs> this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> fucking annoying lettuce. My you know, hamburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I, I feel I feel bad, man. What about God, hair? Man. If you, if a meal comes out, let's say you're in a bougie place and then you mm-hmm. see a little pube or a pub <laughs> <Yeah. hair. laughs> So two different times. You got a pube in the meal. What do you go? Hey, look, this this is fucked. Or if it's a hair, hair. Yeah. I mean, do you just like brush it off, or if you see hair in your meal, do you just go, "Nah, this is not on." Mm. Some yeah. people can handle hair. If I see a little thing, I'm just like, "Whatever." Yeah, I'll take. Like it you said, it's going to go back in there, and are they going to dandruff it up? But if it's a pube, yeah, definitely a, a go pube, back. A, a pube's hard. Yeah, mm. like a hard yeah. pube. Step guy. too far. I yeah. <laughs> this has gone too far. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to wear a, a fucking uh, hairnet. I didn't. I didn't care how high I looked. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. long, yeah. long, long hair, or his hair is like that. That length was even worse. It's all like it gets everywhere. We're, we're a fucking hairnet. Yeah, bussing. Does it get easier as it gets longer? Yeah, it does. Because the shoulders nice are like it causing is. it to bunch up, right? Yeah, that's the thing. And I, it's like, I don't know how you do it, man. That's yeah. like that's that's like the worst it's, stage of hair. It's psychotic <laughs> shit. I know, stage. right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it looks cool though. I'm about to get a haircut, so <laughs> 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 not keep it. Maybe plug it. Uh, maybe I don't know. You're just gonna get that Pantene Pro V. Like, look at your you got the bloody the streak. Oh, yeah, no thing. wonder that guy's like, yeah. ma'am. <laughs> 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 got beautiful, beautiful hair, hair dude. Yeah. 
I do. I do spend a lot of time. Just it's it sucks, dude. It, it is. It's like like the ma- maintenance of long hair. It does yeah. suck. Do you do you it get does. it trimmed? Every once in a while, once every few years. Because I'm not sure if I like, more. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get it trimmed, and that's why it's causing so many knots and stuff. Because mm. it's like all the split ends are like interlocking and making knots or some shit. It looks Could be painful. That looks painful. Dude, uh, yeah, yeah. These Hear guys your see me brush. brush brush my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ugh. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah, actually, it's the worst. It's good sound. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Hair hair has a mind of its own sometimes. Yeah. You know, well, one day I woke up and my hair is straight. I don't know. <laughs> it was like that was like curly it was, like, it was nice and curly and like kind of had a life I think I think it was stress the stress of being in a, in a shitty band is fucking just made my hair straight disgust <laughs> I think that's what really happened yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's wild <laughs> Shred, I, which, yeah, it's I get I get frustrated with sleeping with it cause mm-hmm. like I'll roll over and then <gasps> a bunch of like hair gets in my mouth and stuff it's just yeah so yeah. suffocating yeah, I, I can't. I don't know if I can do it much longer, guys. I'm sorry. We need the mullet though. Before it goes, we need to get that mullet. It will look so yeah, good. Full on you. Yeah, full scallop though. Yeah, full, full scallop. Aussie, mullet. Aussie mullet. Yeah. <laughs> One show. <laughs> One mullet. Oh, that's, I, that's yes. Let's, let's go, dude. And that oh, right is so- <laughs> With the glasses Dude, too. Oh, he's wearing the that. Nick, Make the Nick them glasses is, as well. Is, is a big band now. You got you got to do big band shit now, dude. This, mullet, this, mate. Okay. The mullet is on. Got to get the haircut now. Oh, that. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Jerry Curl mullet, yes. What do you reckon you could talk to that guy about? <laughs> so what do you think of... Uh, sports ball. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of metalcore? Do you like oh, it? I'll have a go at that. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely Aussie. Jaya, what does helmet mean? Helmet? Yeah. Oh, just someone who's a bit special that you know. of a pleb. Yeah. I, I laughed. I laughed. I knew. I knew it was. It was a slang, but I, it was funny. But I knew. I. I don't. I don't, I don't know what you were saying. So. <laughs> so. So. so someone helmet. who's. Uh, how do I say? So that sound like an asshole. Just someone who's a bit special as well. Okay. Bit slow. Got it. Bit. Just falls over. Needs to be put back up. Just a like a, just, just another word for an <laughs> idiot. Just. I'll take that one from Josh Smith. He messaged me once going, mate, our bloody soul, our driver's such a helmet. Well, the, their old driver, mm. not the current driver. Mm. But, yeah, just a special person. You guys had the most, probably have, have, have my favorite sling. It's yeah. cool. It takes a lot of the uh, American crew to catch on. So if we're like, sure. hey, can you pull over at the servo? What? What's a servo? Or the, what we would call Maccadees. Maccas. Maccas. Yeah. Maccas. Or the bottle I I don't know what you're saying. The bottle. Oh, sorry. The liquor store. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bottle O. Yeah, it just comes out naturally. Mm. A lot yeah. of lot of t- side heads as well when we talk, but mm-hmm. it's fine. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I was like, in oh. with confidence. Just go in with confidence, like you were saying. Okay. If you see another Aussie dude or whatever, just go. That's no, a bit. How you going? Fair Have you heard that one? No. It's a bit. How you going? If something's a bit shit, well, it's a bit. How you going? We've got the list here. Fair Dinkum. Oh, uh, Bicky. Bicky, well, what's that? Bicky, Bic- no, Bicky's, no, Bicky's a- ecstasy. I know, but yeah. I thought, oh yeah, I thought Ambo's Bicky. ambulance, Chanda, Chanda. Oh, we don't really uh, come on. That's like that's just that's, crap. That's boomer slang. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these are hideous. fair. <laughs> shake of the sauce bottle. Oh yeah, people always used to call me a bogan. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. That's oh, that's good. That's oh, good. I thought that was bad. No bogan. Nah, nah, look at me. Nah, 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 nah. bogan's good. So yeah. you, oh, you're oh, you're like you're like a a metal bogan. I'll say. Who said that? Another I think, Aussie? I, I think, I, yeah, I think a Parkway was saying throwing throwing a word bogan around. Yeah. We're going like, oh yeah, it's hell good, and then it's just like someone who's what, what? not very sophisticated. <laughs> okay, but, okay, but it, okay. <laughs> bogan. Okay, someone Boot who's bus. not very sophisticated. Right, <laughs> and booze then bus. What's a, a bogan? What's booze bus? That doesn't what, make that's sense. That's totally wrong. Someone who's not very sophisticated. I suppose, but actually, yeah, there is truth to that because because back then I was I'm. I'm a very different person now. I was uh, yeah. back then. You know, I was we we're. You were a bogan. I, I was bogan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Dude, I, I didn't read my first book until I was 26. That doesn't make you bogan though. No, but I mean, back back then, like I was really stupid. I was truly like alcoholic, fucking doing cocaine. Just I was. Amen, I, I was, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I am. I am jealous, dude. Some people can handle those substances, but I, I could not. Oh no, I, mm. I couldn't. Fall that, asleep. That, now, that stuff. now I drink in a very like responsible manner, but back then, dude, especially like during like we were talking, I was a nine. It was bad. Yeah, I, yeah. I was, I was a very genuine, stupid person. 
I think we yeah. all were. We all oh, yeah. True. Yeah, we we all we've had our time. Yeah. Fuck me. What do you do after you load in? Oh, there's booze there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Joe's yeah. pretty much the only person in the band that still drinks. Uh, yeah. Like on tour anyway. I'll have like a couple of margaritas every now and then. Mm. Yeah. Just a, if I play a good show, which is mm. in my head very rare. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, dude, you're you're a fucking ripper, dude. Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, I, I'm so in my own head about that shit. <laughs> I get told daily, but yeah, it's a curse, dude. It is. That, uh, thing, that, thing, that, thing, that, that thing that makes you good also makes you. It's just that 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 yeah. creative mind. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. Like, oh that, that was that was a bad show. You missed this. You missed that. It's yeah. never like your brain never like surrounds. Around like the positive stuff. Yeah, that's it never it. does that. And it fucking pisses me off. Like last night, yeah. I dropped. I barely, very rarely drop a stick. Last night, I dropped a stick, and I was like, "I gotta quit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta quit. It's over. That's it. We're done." That's Thank it, dude. God. Like Sean, I, I've, I got, I got, I got bad news, man. I dropped a stick. I think I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I'm yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. First yeah, song. Yeah. We don't, we don't make it any better for him as well. He's like, I had a bad show. We're like, oh well, do better, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be yeah. Nice. Pick up the sticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, dude. That's maybe what. grip him. <laughs> Yeah. That that's what that's what I would say. I, I give Bernie so much shit. <laughs> yeah. You fucking suck, dude. You yeah, you got to suck. You got oh, it's it's all about the, you know, when you give shit out, you got to be able to take it as well. Exactly. I give shit out so much and I have to be able to take it, so mm-hmm. it's fine. Because it stems from if if someone's going to talk shit to you, mm. Uh, you do. You have to be confident in yourself. Not confident, oh, but you need to yeah. know. You need to know who who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You know. Definitely. Yeah. I yeah. think if people get offended, I think there's something a little bit. Yeah, a little, it's some, yeah, a little bit too insecure. Yeah, you know? for sure, mm-hmm. man. Helmets, sure. handle helmets. Yeah, helmets. Yeah, yeah. Crumpets. Crump- crumpets, crumpets, crumpets. That's the new one. Yeah, you fucking crumpet. Uh, you crumpet. I like that. I love, I love crumpets though. What's a crumpet? Uh, well, it's an actual uh, food. I'm not sure. It's a food. It's a food. Yeah, yeah, but also crumpet with a C. I'm not sure if it's it'll like be listed a, as an insult. Like uh, it's kind of like isn't like an an ego oh, like a. <laughs> Not worth a crumpet, meaning that somebody is, or something is useless. Oh, there you go. Meaning oh, that actually, somebody or something is useless. I just started crumpet. using it one day. I didn't know it was actually. Yeah. No, it's like that bre- is, it's, it's also a breakfast food. Our drummer is definitely a crumpet. <laughs> 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 I love you, Ernie. <laughs> I'm a crumpet. Oh, yeah, look. It's an actually sexually active woman. Attractive. British oh. slang. Oh, sorry, British. Oh, she, see, it, it, words mean different things in different parts of the world. Even man. though we originally, you know, oh, yeah. come from so England, that's the weird one. How do yeah. we? Yeah. Shit. There you go, guys. You've there heard you it go. first. Mm. Well, crumpet. Yeah, crumpet's a ripper. I. Yeah. I <laughs> that's a good that's one. A good I love one. using crumpet. <laughs> hey, Sean. After after doing four, four records, because 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 you mentioned how it took you. And, and and your band so long to kind of get over that that hump or nothing really happening. Yeah. Did you ever have any thoughts like, oh, maybe, maybe this isn't going to work out? For sure. Um, I think the, for, through like our entire career, I've just always been like, mm, am I like, <laughs> is, this, is this me done? You know, I, I've always been in a state of kind of like, I guess like existential dread about just like my own life choices and whether or not I should still be in a band. But then also... Mm. Yeah, with the um, the added pressure of like you know everything we went through and COVID and everything and before this stuff, like there was definitely like the are we done as a band? Like you guys would have been feeling that as well. Oh, hundred like, oh, percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we all daily, yeah. Yeah. daily. Let's go. <laughs> That's why I think we were just like you know pretty initially, uh, yeah, like pretty keen on the idea of just like if we were going to continue, just like continuing as a four piece. But like I think what was appealing about that to us was like not taking it too seriously and just like playing shows to like hang out as friends and just mm, like continue yeah. the band at a, at a at a not serious level. Yeah. Um, which in retrospect, I'm really happy we didn't do that. Obviously. Yeah. Nick put but, his foot down, which is great that we. Yeah. That mm. Nick was like, no, nah, this will destroy the band if we continue as a four piece. Like, oh, yeah. It'll be so fun. Yeah. yeah. Tough just be hanging yeah, out. Yeah. And, yeah. But he, yeah, it, it made was, sense. And it's crazy. He just like started hanging out with Alex. I think they were like going for runs and stuff during COVID. Mm-hmm. And then mm. one day he calls me. I think he did the same call for everyone. And I didn't just have like, reception. Got mind. this crazy idea. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And he's like, Alex Reed. And I was just like, yep, do it. <laughs> Let's get her in. Mm, yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. I don't know why he thought it was like such a crazy idea. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, but, yeah. It's, yeah. It's just going to blow your mind, guys. Is and it? we're just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. No brainer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? 
<laughs> what a fucking perfect fit. Man, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. She is like it's crazy. It's incredible, yeah. man. She's it's, it's actually good because like yeah, she's like fully changed the dynamic within the band. You know, like when Nick and I talk about uh, the band, we often um, compare like the band uh, to like the locker room sort of. Uh, vibes of like a sports team or something like that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And like, yeah. well, you know, what someone, that, yeah, someone might have like something that they bring to the table in terms of like what they're drawing on stage or mm-hmm. what they can contribute instrumentally or whatever, like, or from mm-hmm. a business sense. But then it's also like what you're doing in the locker room, like how you're contributing to the band in that way and the general like vibe and ethos like backstage and how we all like sort of feel and approach one another. I think like that has been like the, w- without question, like the biggest, most significant thing that Alex has done for the band is just like bring Mm. um a vibe and an energy and like we're all like more motivated to like you know do we like because she's so you know confident and motivated then we're like you know it was it's it's boosted our confidence in the band Mm. it's made everyone want to like work harder and like you know get fit and healthy and stuff because that's such a big part of her life you know what I mean and Mm. so that that sort of like energy is just like rubbing off on it on everyone sort of that infectious like positivity if you will so it's been huge yeah wow couldn't be any better Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i I really love that analogy as well like the comparing like the a band to like a sports team Mm -hmm. or something like that i just think it holds so much weight because people see a lot of what happens obviously you know the way we present and stuff like that but i think the culture of a band like what happens in the green room, in the bandwagon, whatever, is like so much, it, it tells you so much more about like the health of a band mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like how much life and longevity they have in them. And mm-hmm. I think like, a, a, like I would attribute like a lot of the recent success and like how far we've come in more recent years to like just how, how good everyone's feeling about that dynamic mm-hmm. at the moment, you know what I mean? Just feels super healthy, super happy. Mm-hmm. Everyone's stoked. So, mm-hmm. mm. what what a switch in in moods, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Can, like, yeah. can you like can you go back to like that those feelings and mindset prior to that change? Um, I had, like, man, like how how were we even I th- going? I think yeah. it's like I think yeah. to yeah. get back to that. Uh, yeah, it would probably be pretty. Um, easy for some of us, you know, like I think a lot of us like it's so easy and I think so many human beings do it, right, where like the mm-hmm. first piece of information, like, you know, you're presented with a scenario or a problem or something like that. It's like the first way that you internalise that or perceive that information that you've been given is like often a negative way, mm-hmm. you know, you'll you'll see it in a negative yep. light sort True. of thing. And, you know, it's, it's – and I think like also like being – uh, creative people, I think that, you know, because music is subjective, right? So mm-hmm. if, you know, how, how does, how, how do you determine that like one piece of music is better than another if it's subjective? So mm-hmm. you have to have a very strong, like fundamental, um, critical analysis, I think. So like creative people, I would find to be typically more critical of things in general. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So like then having, so like, you know, I think without having Alex in the band, you know, it, w- it probably would affect, you know, I, I could see us, you know, viewing certain situations in a negative light. Nick's also very more positive these days. Um, and I think we're all like generally more positive. Mm. Mm. But I, you know, if a couple, yeah. I don't know. It's very difficult to say if we could get back to that state of mind or not. But mm-hmm. I could see it happening with the right yeah. set. <laughs> so we need to like you know keep pushing, keep being positive. And yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. One one person could change that whole dynamic. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Know, it's, everybody changes. Everyone mm. everyone gets better. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely. Family is stronger. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, when we, when we got Ernie, that that fucking crumpet, he 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 like, <laughs> he uh, injected like a newfound energy and love. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got it's a good just, persona, that guy. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Good persona, good energy. Yeah, it's good. It, it rubs up on you, man. It just oh, does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. You, definitely. I try, man, with like not having someone else's energy fucking rub off, but it, it does. Yeah, hundred mm. percent. It's so good as well when you start like. Locking in crew members and shit that you're happy with as well. Yeah. When you start building like oh yeah, it's the best that and it's like oh my god, these pe- other people that we love touring with as well, you know. And when you get that that right, because it takes ages to find 
that perfect yeah. it does. team, Years. I think. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Dude. You're yeah. living with people like that every day. So you want to have someone where you go, I can handle this person every day. <laughs> yeah. Even if there's, you know, highs and lows. Sure. Yeah. Or someone yeah. has too many drinks and turns into a pest. Uh, I think we're all nah. a bit, we're all a bit guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been yeah, behaved. Yeah. I've been very behaved though. Right. Have you? Yes, I have. What is uh? May- maybe you can't speak on this, but 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 what has he done? Uh, let's go back to two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, cool. was that, that recent? <laughs> okay. What did I do two weeks ago? Oh, Hotel you're... room. What did I do? Two weeks ago. Filled up the sink with vomit. Oh, oh yeah. That. And, then, and then he called reception and was like. The oh, sink? Yeah. And the he was toilet, like. There's a toilet right there. I, uh, it was in the toilet as well. Don't worry. Toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toilet. Yeah. Sink. I chose sink. Okay. And like, yeah, I'd like walk into the toilet in the middle of the night and it's just like, the sink's like this deep and it's like this fucking full with vomit. Oh, my God. And Ooh. I was just like. Dude. Dude, and then he like rings reception. He's like, "Oh, there's a blockage." I'm like, <laughs> blockage? "I'm like, put the fucking phone down. We're gonna get kicked out." Um, the bass player's a the fucking blockage. <laughs> <laughs> I did yeah, some yeah. plumbing. I did some plumbing. Yeah, I was did. like, I figured out. I was like, I know how to do this. I'm just gonna open it up. And I opened up the the drain down the bottom. No. Oh my god! And what was in it? So if anyone's gonna vomit hearing this, it wasn't my spew. It was a <laughs> huge big hair loogie, like as lo- long as yours. Blocking the whole thing, so just pulling it out and then on all floors trying to mop it up, and then I drained fully drained the sink. So I I fixed for them. I did some plumbing work for them, but uh, and you, I'm assuming safe safe to say that you were drunk when I did it. No, it was was the next morning. I was so yeah. Also, so you puked and you left it there, and then you went to bed. I thought I was going to drain like a fucking professional. Yeah. Oh, you were yeah. You were you were (laughs) fucked up when you vomited. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that's when you were calling the like, yeah. oh, oh my God. No, it was the next morning. It was the next morning where I was sober and cleaning it up. Yeah. And yeah, oh, I thought there was a picture of it on there. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, 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 that's a picture. So, no, it's good. Yo, Bryce, who was, Bryce was on this tour, was like, oh, last time I saw you, to me, mm-hmm. was at that uh, when we had the crossover. Like, Day, Day Seeker took, took us out to dinner and then mm. we went to that bar. Oh, and he was yeah, on the other yeah. tour tour package, and like he rem- he remembers me putting my this was on the Bad Omens tour, so like this was probably the last time the last tour that I was sort of like drinking, I guess you could mm-hmm. say, and I like yeah I, apparently I was putting my hand on the dart board and having people like throw darts at my <laughs> 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 it's just it's just like ridiculous. Oh yeah, and you and had then, the wanted poster yeah I had the wanted poster. I then mm-hmm. like yeah made found my way back to the Airbnb or whatever and just like on the carpet in the middle of the living room just passed out in the middle of the but it was like a full like you know like when you kill someone on GTA and they like the yeah. body's just <laughs> yeah and someone Let's took go. a someone took a oh, Nick Let's took go. a photo of me <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then they sent it to uh, Dirkus who was the TM of the tour and mm-hmm. then he, they made like a wanted poster it was like just the, the photo of me is like wanted has anyone seen sean please call this number yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's, that's a good photo oh my yeah. good so so you so you cut back oh lot. massively yeah yeah, yeah okay yeah. yeah yeah it's been like a when? slow uh i think like well honestly yeah i don't know i was definitely drinking a lot over covid because there was nothing to do so i'll just like mm-hmm. play magic the gathering and drink beers and then um <laughs> previous awesome. and if you think about previous tours before that uh, I'd say like it was we were still in that like in the party yeah. sure. mm. like era of our band um, and then that sort of that sort of era stopped I guess you could say some people started going to bed earlier like and Al- when Alex joined it was like alright yeah let's get our shit together um, so yeah it's just been this gradual since the Bad Omens tour so I guess you could say it's been a steady like cut back until mm-hmm. You know, this tour when, you know, I drank in Vegas. Vegas. Um, I think I had like a couple of beers one other night. But usually wow. usually I'm I'm usually I'm just, I'm just like a red wine with dinner guy mm. if I if it's a really nice dinner or something like that. But pretty much I just yeah. I That's good try discipline. Not, try not to drink. Yeah. That's really good discipline. I d I couldn't yeah, you know, if you yeah. say I'm not drinking, the urge is to have just to have one not as an alcoholic, just the taste and then yeah. get the little buzz, but to fully cut yeah. I, I I give out a lot of respect for people that just go full cold turkey, you know. Yeah. Mm. Which like I'm not doing full cold turkey, but I pretty much like not. I guess you could say not binge drinking mm-hmm. anymore. Like not drinking more than part time. Four time cold yeah. turkey. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think I've got a particularly healthy relationship with alcohol. So. Totally. That's yeah, for the best. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> got it. 
So, so, so maybe that was uh, so you're talking pre COVID. Yeah, you, you had that stage, and then when Alex comes in, it's, it sounds like you just kind of just got focused. Yeah, I guess so. It was sort of like well, because we had to sort of pick up the pieces, and it's like, all right, well, if we are like gonna give this like one more golden try sort of thing let's like do it properly and so i think that was that was what sort of led to it yeah Mm -hmm. so so that was like a conscious like decision i think like yeah it was conscious i think everyone knew that that was kind of what we were doing and you know people have adjusted their mentality to that at like Mm -hmm. different rates i suppose yeah, Jai's still <laughs> doing good. You're doing good. He's man. holding the fort. I, He's I'm, holding the drinking fort for there sure. You go. Yeah, I'm yeah. there in the morning with the trailer and night. I haven't missed my shift. So Atta boy, I'm mm-hmm. good. I'm good. Yeah, Sick. yeah. That's it's also it. like kind of his his role because sometimes yeah. we're all tired and can't be bothered socializing and stuff. So he's waving the flag there sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Go over here. Let's go. It, it, yeah. it only takes a couple <laughs> members or a few to like cut back a little bit and, and yeah. to, to 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 re like to refocus. You know, like yeah. not not everyone has to go like cold cold turkey. You know, it's just nah. It's not like a like a couple. You know, cut back. It, it, cha- it changes things. And yeah. it, it becomes mm-hmm. becomes more balanced. It's supposed to just like debauchery, and then you're making career decisions that you don't even know you're making. Yeah, mm-hmm. you and know, it's, it's it's as people start to drop off the drinking <laughs> thing. It's like, you know, it, you could justify drinking more because well, everyone's drinking. I'm drinking with everyone. It's a social thing. Yeah, and totally. then when less and less people drink, it's like, Gotta oh, be well, careful. It's, fuck, it's only it's only me up here drinking. Uh, this doesn't seem fun or healthy, so huh. you know it's easy to stop. Then easier to stop when less people are doing it around you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Sean, you are a great example, and that's something to be proud of, man. For for you, for you to cut back like that. Ah, oh, thanks. For man. for 100%. for for the better of your music, your your fan base, and and the rest of your band. It's cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, cheers. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome, man. It's hard. It's not easy to do because you're s- surrounded by temptation. Oh, yeah. 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 Surrounded sure. all yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah. And and like the thing that people – like you can see – I was talking about this the other day. How bands from the 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever, like before mm-hmm. before you were able to doom scroll in your on your phone. Like for those of people who have been on tour before, you know like how much free time you have. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's insane. It's so fucking mm-hmm. boring being on tour sometimes, <laughs> like honestly. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's – it's and you can just see like how, how so many of those – bands from that era like turn to drugs and alcohol because they don't have this like device that just just allows you to zombify basically yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, or whatever but i think it's it's really important to like get a hobby or something like if you're you know drawing or reading or whatever it is like something mm, that definitely. keeps you busy on tour because um yeah there is just like yeah there's that temptation you've always got a fridge full of beers every night or whatever mm. if you want them yeah and there's just like nothing but time so know, <laughs> you need to feel that time with something you know so yeah. you got it you got to fill the time with something that's the uh, main take takeaway yeah to, yeah to, yeah to, for to, sure to cut back yeah and for me that's been this tour has been just like going to the gym and going for walks and stuff like that Should do some sightseeing every now and then i get to draw on some of the drum skins that come in oh and, sick yeah mm-hmm. i bought like a note a notepad i started like doing more drawings but um i left that notepad in wherever that city was so Al- Albuquerque, I left in the Albuquerque green room. So I got to get a new notepad now, a little sketch pad, do more drawings. Do Sick. This. Yeah. <laughs> All right, two more things, uh, then we'll I'll get you guys on the on the road. This is a question I never had asked before, but uh, you know, one, one of the reasons I started I started this this uh, podcast was uh, you know no one really you know told our our story, you know, mm-hmm. so like no one really knew shit about like like my my uh, band. So I kind of wish someone maybe would ask me this. Is there anything that I, I, I might have missed that you want to be out there for about you or about about your band or the music? Um, it's a great shit. question. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's a very tough question. I don't know. I guess like I, yeah, that's very difficult. I I, I kind of see the band in in like different in in in, in eras, if you will. So like. From the time we got you guys, mm. I think, is like that. Like, you guys have been in the band for how long? 2017. 2016. So, yeah, so it was yeah. around that time, I think. That Where everything started all that's, changing. And that's when things started going right for yeah. us, I think, like in a, in a slow and steady kind of way. Yeah, and then COVID hit and we got like mm-hmm. slowed down a bit or whatever. <clears> but like, 
you know, um, we're a very different, like, band and if you go on the thing, like, on the Wikipedia, like, we've had so many different <laughs> members and if mm -hmm. you, then going back to the crew thing, like, so many different crew and mm -hmm. it's just been, like, an insane journey with so many different chapters and, you know, errors to, like, our, like our music and our ethos and how we have behaved, how we are as people and yeah. stuff like that. And I feel like, yeah, this is like the best and most exciting one for me, especially with Alex now. Um, I don't see the lineup changing like anytime soon. It's Everyone's Oof. really stoked and yeah, it feels good. It's exciting. I don't know. That's all, that's all I got to say. I hope, yeah. I hope people are in, enjoying what we're doing at the moment. I hope people are enjoying like this new you know, chapter, um, s still very nostalgic to like look back on, you know, demo or whatever. And yeah. Oh, go, that's, wow. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. We're a totally different band now, but I don't know. It's, um, it's been a hell of a journey and, uh, yeah, I'm stoked. You, uh, you've survived your eras and, 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 and uh, you are also continuing to make new ones. Mm. Yeah, that's it. And, mm -hmm. you know, Nick's been there since very early, like halfway through the EP cycle. So, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, me and him <coughs> waving the flag as the OGs, the way I see it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. No, it's cool. It's exciting. Now, you let, you make them suffer has their permanent stamp in the heavy scene. It's cool. Mm, Hell yeah. It's, it's, bad, it's, sick. it's, it's badass. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, where can people find you guys? Uh, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, that's, is that a website? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh there's links in various things yeah i will put yeah. this in the uh description on youtube and yeah. uh and yeah. so so the world will, will have this link i'll do it myself yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. smart link yeah. Um, yeah that's cool check man. us out that's if you haven't heard era. us before that's cool yeah, we've that's got a lot of exciting so. things coming up i guess so yeah. Big things. Big watch, things. Watch this space. Well, don't, okay, let's ruin, let, let's ruin this conversation. Okay. Yeah. They got big things coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you Huge. Go. Make them Huge. suffer. Coming down live. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, one, one, one last question. Uh, you, you don't have to answer it, but uh, is the three songs that came out, is that for an e is that like leading up to an EP or a record? What, what's that? Or is this, or that's it? I could tell you that, but okay. I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I'm dying to you anyways, it's fine, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, um, I'm, I'm not sure, it's all, yeah, mate, some of them are, I don't know, it's not, yeah, it's top secret. Sick. Yeah. Mm. It's cool. Yeah, I like, I like, I like how it's kind of, this coming out gradually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause it, the it waterfall sort of. It made, it made me think, I'm like, what, what, what is this? Yeah, yeah. Sick, cool. I'm, I'm, yeah. So it, ma it makes people think. It's yeah, a, exactly. It's a I mean, collection it's, of songs so far. That's it's all it's it a collection of songs. <laughs> Make them suffer's greatest hits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> greatest hits coming soon. <laughs> all right, well, well, this will come out uh, this Monday. So uh, you'll be, cool. you're all, you're going to be right past the halfway point. Oh yeah, we'll just think about that. the Era tour. So if you're listening, watching, uh, catch him on tour with uh, Era. Yeah. For division, and uh, that's just gonna be sick. You'll be, you'll probably be, in, uh, you'll be going up to Seattle, Portland, mm -hmm. Salt, Salt Lake City. Yeah. Oh, beauty. Still got a bit to go, uh, eh, boys. Hell so, yeah. Just, just a little over halfway. Yeah. Any in New York? That's a ballsy move. Yeah. That's uh, sick. That yeah. is. The ballsy move. Fuck it. But yeah, the shows have been epic, man. Yeah, they've, so. they've all been, they've been really sweet. Good. Crowd response has been amazing. Yeah, you're, wel oh, you're uh, welcome, uh, boys. A quick <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and a quick, a quick note on that. If you have come out to a show, I'm really sorry. I haven't been coming, like, saying hello at the merch table or whatever. I've just been, like, protecting my voice and stuff, which has been something I'm trying to do more of these days. But you're yeah, in a different category. You. Yeah, you, you, you can't fake that out. So yeah. it's different, man. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> mm. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys. Oh, thank, thank you. And, uh, yeah, have Smart a good night. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Everyone, man. That's it. Later. Later.